everybody, my name is Peter and I'm gonna talk to you guys about another training topic. And this is one of those things that I'm very, very much focused on when I'm going to create a new training system. And that is communication signals. And I'm not talking about cues to get behavior to happen. I'm talking about the bridge stimulus, the end of session signal and the keep on going signal. Those three, that's what I'm gonna talk about. Let's talk about the bridge first. When I'm talking about the bridge, I'm talking about a terminal bridge. Very often what you see is that the bridge does not mean that the behavior stops. Now for me, very, very important is when I ask a specific approximation in my training system or if I ask a specific behavior when criteria is reached, I click, blow the whistle or anything what my bridge is so the animal will stop performing the behavior approximation which I've asked. Why is this so important? Well, if I wanna go into detailed training and pinpoint exactly what the animal does correct in that moment in time, because at the end of the day, the bridge is a photo moment in your behavior. If that's the case, we should make it a terminal bridge because we're actually training way more efficiently. Then the keep on going signal, another beautiful signal that we have. Many, many, but many trainers are using it and that's completely fine. But I wanna point out that the keep on going signal is actually not scientifically proven. So we're using it and I know some very respected professionals in this field say, why would we add more sounds in an environment where there's already so many things happening. Fair point, I'd say. You know, I'm sometimes using them as well, but preferably what is even better and way more clear to the animal is not use a keep on going signal. So it's full focus on behavior that we've asked and that it reaches criteria and then followed by a reinforcer. Therefore, I don't, try to use it, but I catch myself all the time of using it because it's so easy to happen. Then the last one is the end of session signal. Very interesting, a very interesting signal because it basically tells the animal the session is over. What we expect the animal to do is do something for themselves. But funny enough, when I'm asking to many, many people, hey, are you using an end of session signal? Many say no. Now, we already give away a long time ago to the animal, the session is going to end. So without you knowing it, you probably do this already. But my point is, yeah, sure, we are implementing it. And then the question is, but what do you want from your animal while you're doing it? And then nobody has an answer because people do the signal and they walk away. But essentially, <laughs> you give an end of session signal, which should be followed by criteria. So what is the criteria when I'm asking this signal to my animals? What I want them to do is walk away, do something for yourself, which means that I have to give them something to do for themselves. But another option is, you know what? There is no primary reinforcement coming anymore. If you want to interact, you can still interact. No problem. It's another option for you. So these three signals are often my main focus when we're gonna try to change the system, look at the current system and how we apply these specific communication signals to our animals. Because animals that seem to show us frustrating behavior often is an outcome of a poor communication system to our animals. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments down below. If you have any add-ons to this video, please let us know as well. We're also here for learning. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.